the car. With beauty and grace, as swift as can be, watch it flying through the air. It travels in space or under the sea, and it can journey anywhere. Supercar, supercar. It travels on land or roams the skies through the heavens' stormy rage. It's Mercury man, and everyone cries. It's the marvel of the age. Supercar, supercar, supercar. Well, friend Zarin, and what do you think of that? Uh, what does it say? Be assured, my stupid friend, it does not say this side up. No, this has been sent by our Mesopotamian contacts, that we may find the lost talisman of Sargon the Sumerian. Ah, uh, he will pay well, this Sargon. Alas, friend Zarin, Sargon has been dead for many centuries. Then who will make it worth our while? One, Mustafa Bey. He it is who knows where the talisman is hidden. Here, at Kakubal, in the burial temple of Sargon himself, there lies somewhere the famous talisman carved from one single priceless emerald and reputed to confer absolute power on its possessor. That power is what Mustafa Bey seeks, and the cuneiform inscription tells the exact spot to look. But why cannot he translate the inscription himself? Because the ignorant fool cannot read cuneiform. Can you? A blunt question, friend Zarin, and the answer is no. But I know where to find one who can. At a certain desert laboratory, a certain Dr. Pika. Reassemble filter cover, uh-huh. Replace cowling and screw home, okay? That's right, Mike. But sink them right down. Otherwise, they'll have a frictional effect at high speed. I get you. Sure a lot to remember, though. It's like going back to school. Well, you never know when you may need to do emergency repairs, and you won't have the plans to help you. Ah, don't worry, Professor. I'll remember. Hey, it looks like we got a visitor. Ha! Oh, Jimmy, it's you. I saw the mailman from my window. There's a letter for Dr. Beaker. Uh, Dr. Julius Metinick. Mm. That's strange, Jimmy. Uh, Dr. Metinick wants me to help him find out about a tablet. I should have thought that was a job for a dragist. Does it say what kind of tablet? Mm. Ah, yes. You're absolutely right. It's a clay tablet with a cuneiform inscription. He wants to bring it out here for me to decipher. Well, of course, I should be happy to help if I wasn't so busy, but... Um... What are you busy on at the moment? Oh, yes, well, uh, true, it is... Um, uh, more important to me personally uh, than humanity at large. It's a hair tonic, actually. Mitch! Well, at least it was a hair tonic. I wonder whether it would have had the same action on my scalp. Well, I'm not so sure about that. I don't know that I like the idea. Was it prudent to invite him out here? Perhaps more practical than prudent. To travel to the University of California would have been an arduous waste of time. And in any case, all my mm, uh, um, uh, reference books are here. But the security risk... Need not exist, my dear professor. I shall conduct the interview in my own laboratory, to which Dr. Metternich may have access by the outer door. Okay, I figure I know this gizmo inside out. You want to test me, teacher? Of course, Mike. So long as you keep Dr. Metnick away from the security area, Beaker. Do not worry, Professor. As one who sounds uh, 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 completely wrapped up in his own line of study, I cannot think he will be interested in our work. 
only a few more minutes, and then you shall yield your secret to one who knows how to use it. Interesting. Most interesting. The edges of these uh, wedge-shaped depressions, curiously sharp and well-defined. One would say that the um, mm, uh, a scribe uh, looked after his tools. Uh, where did you say this was found, uh, Dr. Metternich? I didn't. It would assist classification to know. Well, uh, I do not know precisely. We are excavating several sites in the Mesopotamia district. Ah, that would be the Simons expedition. It would? I mean, uh, yes, of course. Dear old Stubby Simons. He never was mm, um, uh, much good at deciphering cuneiform. Uh, though in all modesty, I, I must admit it is not easy. They did it with the flattened end of a stick, you know, uh, pressing the corner into the clay at uh, mm, various angles. Oh, yes, yes, but, but what does it say? Well... Mm, uh, it is uh, rather in the nature of an obscure quotation. Uh, let me see. In his uh, mouth. Yes, yes, that would be it. In his mouth was the uh, two vertical and three to the side, of course. In his mouth was the door to... Mm, mm, I wonder. The door uh, to what? Quick! Patience, patience, I beg you. After all, this was inscribed many, many centuries ago. It takes time to unravel, time. <laughs> Please, this is most urgent. Very well. N knowledge, could it be? No. Wisdom, yes. I think that would be the rough translation. In his mouth was the door to all wisdom, all power. Well, Doctor. Uh, doctor? Uh, uh, doctor Metternich. It's curious. Most curious. To be in so great a hurry as to leave the tablet behind. Hm. Oh, well. I can always return it to Professor Simons. <laughs> in his mouth was the door to all wisdom, all power. <laughs> where, where, where am I? Awakening from slumber, the slumber which has engulfed you continually these last three days, whereas I, master spy, have ambition to drive me on. Are, uh, are we already there? The camp of Mustafa Bey lies a few kilometers hence. Not far from the temple we seek. Very yeah, well, alas. I can only say, um, who's a fool? And the answer appears to be me. I don't get it. What's gone wrong? Well, I sent that tablet back to Professor Simons, and he knew nothing about it. Uh, furthermore, the, uh, um, Mesopotamian excavations are not due to start for another two months. Then this Dr. Meidenick is an imposter. More than that, I fear. At the time, I was too engrossed in the tablet to study his face. But on reflection, I think he may have been master spy. It is regretted, O oh Mustafa Bey, that I have found no one to decipher your most excellent tablet. Wretched dog. Would you come here to report failure? Not total failure, great one. But were we to examine the temple ourselves, my friend here is an accomplished thief and breaker into secret places. You would not attempt to deceive Mustafa Bey, on whom the sun never rises. But no, surely. Wait. I will ponder the matter. This secret is ours, friend Zarin, and all power that it promises will be ours, too. But how, Master Spy? We are surrounded by Mustafa's men. True, my friend. 
But when we have the talisman of Sargon, they will obey me. His land shall be my land, and I feel in my bones that his land is rich with untapped oil. So be it. You shall go to the temple at Kakubal. But if you do not return within one journeying of the moon across the night sky, my men shall bring you back to me for the slow torture. Even so, great one, we return at sunrise. Yeah, but what's a guy like Master Spy doing around a temple? Mm, to hazard a guess, he is close to finding the legendary talisman of Sargon, which in his hands would be lost to history, I fear. We cannot allow this. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Professor? He has said a stop. Only Supercar can overtake him. Then what are we waiting for? Sorry, Mitch. You gotta stay behind this time. <laughs> I'm only going because he promised me a trip. Now you be good while I'm gone, okay? All set, Jimmy? Yeah. Gee, I sure am excited. Better climb aboard, then. <laughs> Ready to charge engines. Ready, Professor. Charging port engine. 5,000, 7,000, 9,000, 11,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. Interlock on. Ready to fire. Ready it is. Fire one. Charging starboard. 6,000, 9,000, 13,000, 15,000. Interlock on. Fire two. Fine. Roof doors opening. within but a few feet of our goal. I do not like it, Master Spy. Robbing the dead. Oh, it gives me the shivers. But rewarding shivers, friend Zar. Now, how did it go? In his mouth was the door to all wisdom, all power. Pilot to console. We're nearing target area, Professor. Console to pilot. Fine, Mike. You've made good time. Go all right. Yeah. Dr. Beaker can't wait to see the tomb, and I can't wait to see Master Spy. I reckon Jimmy's got bored with flying already. He's gone to sleep. <laughs> well, it's past his bedtime. We're pretty close now. I'll switch on video plan. Fine, Mike. I have your position. Estimate landing two minutes from now. Looks as if there's a suitable gully. Reference 3, 815. About 2,000 yards from the temple. Roger. Looks just right, too. Hang on to your hat, Doc. We're going down any minute. There. You see? At the bottom. The talisman. Wait, Master Spy. Do you hear something? Ah, it is nothing. The desert wind, that is all. A trick of acoustics. Okay, Professor, we're down. And all present and accounted for. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Did I hear Mitch's voice? Uh, no. He's nowhere around here. Are you sure you heard him? Yeah, plain as... <laughs> oh, no. He's here. He must have stowed away. Well, nothing to do but take him along with us, I guess. Can't leave him here to mess up the controls. Anyway, I better sign off now. All right, Mike. But be careful. Master Spy may have anything up his sleeve. 
At last I have it. So much for your superstitions about robbing the dead friend, Zarin. But we have angered them. I hear voices. Down here, quick. That is a living voice, you fool. Behind this statue. Hurry! They must be here. Quite right, Mike Mercury. And now we leave you. And with the talisman in my possession, I shall rest the power of Mustafa Bey. While you, my friends, rest forever in the tomb of Sargon. It's pretty bare, isn't it? I thought these guys were buried with all their worldly possessions. Uh, not Sargon, the Sumerian. He maintained that all the wealth he needed was his talisman. A pity, really. Yeah, look where it landed us. Gee, this place scares me. You're not sorry you came, are you, Jimmy? No, sir. It's just, well, I'm not usually afraid of the dark, but this isn't the usual kind of dark. That's okay, Jimmy. I guess it's only human to feel that way. It gives me the creeps, too. Well, it certainly is an experience to be, um, mm, Locked in with history. Oh, fine. We had the key to get out again. No, we'll find one. I'm sure of that. Yeah, but when? Well, um... Hey. Hey, where's Mitch? Didn't he come down with us? Strange. I could have sworn that he did. Oh, gee. He must have got left upstairs. <laughs> you don't suppose Master spied Harmon? Not a chance. That guy's too busy making his getaway. But, Master Spy, you're surely not going back to Mustafa Bay. And why not? If we proceed to oil drilling, we wish to do it undisturbed. Therefore, we must dispose of Mustafa Bay. What are we going to do, Mike? I don't know, Jimmy. These walls are solid rock. If we had any way of calling up the professor, maybe he could put supercar on remote and bulldoze through a wall to get at us. Then we're stuck here for good. Now, don't give up hope, Jimmy. Curious. Most curious. What is? The cuneiform inscription here. It's the exact copy of that on the tablet. Oh, for Pete's sake, Doc. Here we are in an all-time mess, and all you're concerned with is the writing on the wall. Well? The writing on the wall. That's another word for fate, isn't it? You may well be right. Um, but in a different sense, it may be our fate to escape from here. Uh, uh, come and look at this. Uh, the inscription reads as before. In his mouth was the door to all wisdom, all power. But beneath, feel the draft, there's a small hole. Yeah, but what does it do? Well, it is my mm, uh, 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 surmise that this gives the inscription a double meaning. That, in fact, this is the lower end of a speaking tube connecting the mouth of Sargon's effigy on the slab above. So a priest down here could um, utter prophecies on Sargon's behalf, put the very words into his mouth, as it were. <laughs> so where does that get us? Why, out, of course. Watch. What's he up to? Search me. Uh, Mitch, Mitch. <coughs> mm, Mitch, 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 Mitch. Mitch! 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 You're probably scaring the pants off him yelling like that. Let me try. Mitch! 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 Mitchy! He's there. He's heard. Right. Now, you keep calm, Jimmy. What I want you to do now is to keep calling him softly to arouse his curiosity. Mitch. Mitch. But what can Mitch, Mitch do? Remember the other meaning of the inscription, which Mitch. let Master Spy down here? Mitch. In his mouth was the door. And that door I am... Mm, uh, 
and uh, you're hoping uh, that Mitch will find. Mitch! <laughs> Mitch! 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 That is, that is, now nah, most, most satisfactory. Now, if you don't mind uh, waiting around while I just make some notes on these inscriptions. There's no time for that, Doc. We've got to get after Master Spy. Gee whiz, Mike. There must have been a sandstorm while we were down in that tomb. Yeah, it looks like it, Jimmy. We shouldn't have been in such an all-fired hurry to get after Master Spy when we landed. Well, all aboard? Yeah, I put Mitch in the back. Control to supercar. Console to pilot. Console to pilot. <laughs> Mike? Mike, is that you? What happened? I've been calling you all night. Pilot to console. Hello, Professor. We got held up. I'll tell you about it as we go. Right now, we got to get Master Spy. There appears to be mm, uh, a, a, a good deal of sand uh, piled around the jets, Mike. I don't reckon that's our main worry. The blast should clear it, unless the sand's blown right inside. It's the air intakes that worry me. Are you in trouble, Mike? I'm a bit worried about the intakes, Professor. If they're choked with sand, we'll overheat. But let's try her. Well, take it easy. Roger. So far, so good. Charging two. Right. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Fire one. I, uh, I can, I can smell something, Mike. How long do you reckon it'll take, Mike? To clear the intake filters, you mean? 20 minutes or so. That's if none of us stand around talking. Well, this is where your lesson came in handy, Mike. Well, that's it. No wonder she overheated. Jimmy, get a rag, and Dr. Beaker, drain a little fuel from one of the tanks. Then we can get her clean. Wretched dog of a perfidious infidel. You dare to double-cross me, Mustafa Bey. On whom the sun... On whom the sun will never rise again. You are finished, friend Mustafa. <sighs> I think not. I have but to beat the gong, and my men will... My men now. I have the talisman, and therefore the power. We shall see. By the beard of the Prophet. What was that? That cursed sound. They have escaped. Quick. You're not going anywhere. At least not with the talisman. You know, Professor, that thing must be thousands of years old. I wonder if it really did give old Sargon power. If people thought it did, then it probably did. And if it hadn't been for Mitch stowing away, we could have all been killed. That is, I... I suppose substantially true. But then, a monkey is mm, uh, mm, and not as interested in jewels as we are. Mitch! <laughs> Mitch! Mitch, come down here! and grace as swift as can be watch it flying through the air it travels in space or under the sea and it can journey anywhere supercar supercar it travels on land or roams the skies through the heavens stormy rage it's mercury man and everyone cries it's the marvel of the age Supercar, supercar, supercar! 